Welcome to the Royal Victoria Marathon. The Royal Victoria Marathon with Ken Bonner, and Ken has run all of them. So Ken, you also have some stories to tell, but first of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. And you are the winner of this year's Walk of Fame Award. And you're one of only three people who's run all of them. Ken Bonner is our Hall of Fame, Walk of Fame runner this year. So, can you think a little bit about maybe one of those early marathons and how how it felt back then? You've run a lot of them. I've always liked the Royal Victoria Marathon. Number one, because it's close. I don't have to travel on the ferry or go many miles. I've driven down to Napa Valley and back on the weekend to run that. So, um, this is nice. It's right here. Uh, it's a fall week, a fall marathon. Uh, the sun's just nice. It's a nice feeling to run a fall marathon. And Victoria is, is a very scenic one along the waterfront. And uh, after 10 marathons, uh, they did identify there were only 10 of us that had run all 10 marathons. So, those of us who could keep running have committed ourselves to keep running until we can't run anymore. <laughs> So you've run all 30, um, and the course maybe has changed slightly, but it's still pretty flat and fast. Yeah, uh, yes, and the nice thing is it's not re totally flat. Uh, I find personally, and I think a lot of other runners, an undulating course is nice, and this is what this is. And it's not undulating, it's big hills of it, but just nicely undulating. <laughs> yeah, it gives your muscles kind of a break when that happens, doesn't it? That's right. Well, now, you've run so many. It's uh, upwards of uh, 150, 170s. Nobody's counting, right? <laughs> <laughs> what makes this one stand out? Well, as I said, it's just, it's just a, a local one. I get to see all the local runners. Uh, I get to meet other runners from other parts of the world, as the people have talked about. Uh, I just love what, running the waterfront uh, and a lot of the courses on the waterfront. I do my training on the waterfront. It's just nice to have local people that come out to cheer us on, um, get to see all the various, you know, Oak Bay, uh, downtown Victoria, the Parliament buildings. It's just it's home. Can you talk a little bit about some of the, the, the route and the neighborhoods that the course goes through? Uh, well, I always enjoy the start right at the end, the finish at the Parliament buildings, going through the, along the harbor and through downtown with no traffic at all, no traffic holdups, uh, and all the old buildings, uh, historic buildings. And then uh, getting uh, down Cook Street and Cook Street Village, uh, is always a lot of people there, and it's a, sort of a, an upcoming uh, uh, village street, uh, street village. And um, and then I go on the waterfront, Oak Bay uh, Village itself, and Starbucks is by there. I'm wait, waiting for them to give, give us all free, free little uh, samples of Starbucks. <laughs> it, it would be very appropriate at that point. <laughs> but you'd come in afterwards. You wouldn't stop the marathon to go in and get coffee, would you? Or would you? Well, <laughs> I, I've actually been offered in another marathon a beer. They, <laughs> in fact, there were one year uh, in Long Ross Bay, uh, some folks were on one of those couches uh, somebody talked about. <laughs> Handing out beer to whoever wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> so that sounds like fun. And so really a lot of what the runners get to see is, is the water. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, a lot. And that's always changing. Uh, one year, uh, I thought it was just wonderful. It was almost spiritual because uh, towards the beginning of the run, we are along the water and we are in the fog. And these runners would just sort of appear out of nowhere and then disappear. And it was just eth ethereal, or, uh, ephemeral, I'm going to say it. Um, and then uh, about halfway through, the sun came out. And you had all these autumn colors and the blue sky and the blue water. It's just beautiful. Wow, it sounds fabulous. It is, yeah. Have you noticed many different, different kinds of weather? Mostly it's sunny. Uh, I mean, in, in memory, everything's sunny, but uh, you know it, it has drizzled the odd time. Uh, but it's never been terrible, and usually sunny in some part of the of the ride. So, yeah. so there it is. It's always sunny here in Victoria. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. That's right. Ken, thank you so very much for talking to us. We look forward to seeing you out on the race course on Sunday. Thank you.